Welcome to our orientation to BPACE online courses. My name is Debbie Jensen and I teach basic skills in room 10 at Baldwin Park Adult and Community Education in Southern California. There are several reasons we decided to put our courses online, but the most important reason that it was that it would help our students be able to reach course resources anytime, anywhere, 24-7. We want you to succeed. Now, we need you to get two accounts. The first is a Gmail account. If you have it already, great, move ahead. If you do not, you'll need to get one. If you need help, see your teacher or come over to room 10 and I will help you. The second account is to go to California Adult Education Courses. Now to get there, type in on the address line or Google adultedcourses.org. When you get there, this is where our courses are, but we need to get you an account. So scroll down the left to the login box and there's a line that says create a new account. Click on the new account. Now we want you to follow a pattern so that we can help you if you forget what your username is. We'd like you to use your first initial and your last name. No spaces. So if my name was Jose Martinez, I would put J Martinez. Now for the password, we want you to put bpace, B-P-A-C-E, forward slash, number four, me. Your email address will be that Gmail account that you got, or another email if you want to use it. You'll put your email here, and your second, you'll type it twice. Put your first name here, Jose Martinez, your last name your city and town, and we're in the United States, so we'll skip that one. Be sure you type in the CAPTCHA words, whatever they say on your own screen, and scroll down to where it says, I understand and agree, and click there. You're going to then click, click on the blue button that says, Create My New Account. And that will instruct you to go to your email to finish the enrollment. Be sure you go to your email and go to your open the um, email that they will that they will send you and click on the link that sends you back to the course. Let me show you what you'll see. Now you'll come back here and you should have your name right here. Mine isn't here, so I'm going to click on there, and I'm going to put in Demo Pete. And the password. Log in. You're going to scroll down the center to our courses, which are at Baldwin Park Adult and Community Education, and scroll down to the course. We are taking Integrated Math A, and so this is where you are and you're in the course now. Now when you're here there's a couple of things I want to show you. One up here where your name is, is if you click you'll see your dashboard but you'll also see profile, grades, messages, and preferences. Under profile you can edit your profile, select the email you want notifications to go to who will be able to see your email. You can also write an introduction to yourself, your goals, your family, your hobbies, and you can even add a picture if you like. Under Preferences, you can change your password if you like. Okay. Now, we'll come back here in a minute and I'll tell you a little bit more about some things inside the course, but I want to show you a shortcut. Sometimes the students say this is just really hard to navigate around, so let's go. We're going to type in bpaced.weebly.com. bpaced.weebly.com. And that should bring you here. This is a website to help you get to your courses quickly. Now, if I scroll down to the bottom, what you'll see is the video that we are that we, you are watching right now. So if you need to see it again, you can. There'll also be a set of slides that give you the instructions step by step as well. Back up to the top, though, if you click on your program where it says High School Diploma, you will have a direct link to your course. 
the reason that I got directly into it was because I had already enrolled as Demo Pete um, and I had logged in already. But if you have not logged in, they will have you log in. Okay, let's take a look at a little bit more about the course and how to navigate around in it. You can always use the back button. You've used that before with your computer. This line right here under English Composition is called the breadcrumb trail. And you can click back along the trail and you can go back if you would like. And that's a second way to navigate. But my favorite is this navigation box where all the different sections are listed. And so I could come here and I could go to chapter A and I could go directly to the assignment that I want to do. And it would open it right up for me. So that's very convenient. I always can scroll down the center and get to where I want to go as well. One last thing, along the side there's a box called messages. Now this one says no messages waiting. That's because your teacher hasn't written anything to your class or to you. But this messaging box allows the teacher to talk to you individually or to the class and it also allows you to talk to them. So that's very useful. You can come up here to contacts, your teacher will be listed and then you can, or search for people, and you can then create your message to go to them. Congratulations for your decision to join us in our high school online courses. We will use this course as a resource to the work you do in class. We'll see you on Monday. Bye now.